and we get sine squared of x is equal to positive 1. Notice how this has a squared on it. How do you think we get rid of a squared? We square root both sides. And when you square root a variable such as sine of theta or sine of x, you must list both the positive and the negative square root. What is the square root of 1? So we're looking at positive 1 and at negative 1. Okay? Now, if you come up with 1 or 0 for sine or cosine, you can actually just think about it. You don't have to go through your whole calculator deal. Um, we can think about, is sine the x value or the y value? It's the x value or the y value in the unit circle, isn't it? If you think of the y value on the unit circle, we know that this coordinate right here is 1, 0. We know that this coordinate is 0, 1. This coordinate is negative 1, 0. And this coordinate is 0, negative 1. So when we're considering where is sine equal to positive 1, we want to know when is the y value positive 1, for what angle? Yeah, up there at 90 degrees. And when is sine equal to negative 1? 270 degrees. Piece of cake, upside down. Look at the next one. What do you want to do to both sides? Let's subtract that 3. I get cosine squared of x is equal to 0. And now what do I do? Square root both sides. And I get cosine of x is equal to 0. Is cosine the x value or the y value in the unit circle? It is the x value. When is the x value equal to 0 in the unit circle? That will be the y value. The x value is 0 at 90 and 270. Yeah, sine was 1, cosine is 0. Those happen at the same spots. Let's check out number 3. What do you want to do to both sides there? Uh, you guys have such great ideas. We subtract 1, and we get 4 tangent. Whoop. Sorry. 4 tangent squared of x is equal to 8. Then what do I do? Divide by 4, and I get tangent squared of x is equal to dos, which is Spanish for 2. I substituted for a Spanish class on Friday, so I got pretty good at my Spanish. Did you substitute for Mr. Rowata? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. He did go. Uh, <laughs> square root, square root, tangent of x is equal to positive or negative root of 2. Now let's think about this, folks. We've got positive and negative. When is tangent positive? Which quadrants is tangent positive in? Remember from uh, the other day? Ooh, we got to review this. All students take calculus. That tells me the positive quadrants. Tangent is positive in the third. first and the third. Good job. First and third. So therefore, it's negative in the second and fourth. Second and fourth. We're not just going to have two solutions. We're going to have four solutions. I go to my calculator, and I inverse the root of 2. I do tangent inverse, and I go square root of 2. And I get 54.74. So I have 54.74. I always put it between the x-axis. Always between the x-axis and the terminal side. So I'm going to have four solutions. What's my first one? 54.74 degrees. Good. How would I calculate this one right here? What would I do to figure that out? You have to take. Oh, yeah. 
Yep, 180 minus 54.74, and we get 125.26. How do I figure out that one? You add it. Yeah, I add that to 180, and I get 234.74. And then I do 360 minus. And I get 305.26. Are we okay with that? All right, our last three trig examples of the semester. What do you want to do with number four? You mean the quarter? Quarter. Silly goose. Silly goose. Yeah, I wish it was a semester. I'm ready to get out. Yeah, you are. You've got junioritis as a ju or senioritis as a junior. Heck yeah. Yeah. You know how exciting it is for teachers to teach juniors who have senioritis already? I've had senioritis since like eighth grade. I've <laughs> <laughs> had senioritis no. since eighth grade. Any excuse? I just got time? here and I was like, Dad, please come pick me up. Like, I don't feel good. Like, please. <laughs> And then every time you'd be like, this is the last time. <laughs> <laughs> but it would happen again and again and again and again. So oh, I take the square root of both sides. I got secant of x is plus or minus the root of 2. I don't have I don't have that button on my calculator. I don't have secant. It turns to cosine. I flip it to cosine? Are you crazy, Callie? No. Nope. Crazy Callie. <laughs> 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 Instead of doing the root of 2, I do 1 over the root of 2. So we're going to type that into our calculator. Make sure you type it in correctly. Let's try that. I go to my calculator. I do second cosine inverse of 1 divided by the square root of 2. Okay, cosine inverse of 1 divided by the square root of 2. 45. And I get 45. So it says cosine is positive and negative. So how many solutions are you going to have if it's, if it's positive and negative? Four. Yep. It's positive in the first and the fourth. It's negative in the second and the third. And we put that 45 degree angle at each spot against the x-axis. That's my reference angle. And that computes x to be 45. 135. What are my two others? 225. 225. And 315. Any seniors out there who don't have senioritis yet? You're like, you know what? I'm going to be sad when it's all over. All right. All right. <laughs> Slightly. Look at you three. All right. I just don't want to like graduate yeah. because I don't want to have to pay for things. Yeah, I don't want to have to, have to, have to like grow up and like, like, like I don't want to not be with half my parents. I like have to have a job and like be in college and be alone. Yeah. <laughs> We're, so, Callie, I, Callie, I'm counting on you to go out and do, do well in the world. Yeah, I want to, but I just don't, I want to have money too. Like, I just mean, just like, I just Callie, need to win the lottery right now. You could call your mom. Callie, ask go get a gambling addiction. Karen got boys. Go get a gambling addiction. No way. What kind what of advice is that? That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not, that was good, Callie. Callie, Callie, Callie you, you have some of the best responses. I say, what's your plan for the future? You say, marry a rich man. Oh, I say, what's your plans for the future? You say, win the lottery. Like, I, I, he, I, these are great. Hey, and what's... You're about yeah, to win more from, like, like, I get some worries. No, 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 no. I got through some, me and my mom, we play pull tabs and we go out to eat, and I never win, ever. <laughs> okay, all right. So you're kind of giving up. You're kind of yeah, giving up. Yeah, I'm giving up. I'm not winning the lottery. Okay, all right. So I have a question for you, and this is actually on the YouTube video, but I think everybody would find this very interesting. <laughs> We all know Wait, that it's this a, is a YouTube video. Yeah. So. Kelly, how many? So Kelly, I'm wondering. I'm wondering. <laughs> so like, like obviously, like in terms of like the guy you're looking for, you want him to be a ten on the attractive scale, and you want a ten on the money scale, right? Yeah. As long but as it's a 10 I'm just money, wondering, Kelly. Like, like how? Like how low would you drop that? <laughs> No, 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 no. Like, attractive and, like, 
personality over money, but if he doesn't yeah. have money, it's an ick. It's an ick. Bro, what? How much money has been for a long time? Kelly! Kelly, would you. Kelly, would you go down to an eight? Yeah. How about a six? No. Not a six? No. Seven? Seven? Yeah. I think you could go down to a six. Seven is my bear. Seven, seven is your bear. Yeah. That's your bear. Okay. What if the money was a seven? Are you still okay? Yeah. What if the money was a four? No. No. Oh, How much money okay. is it? Are we talking about $40,000? How about this? What if, what if money was a five? What if money was a five and personality was a ten? I can make it work. I would have a job too. I can make it work. I wonder if we could make it work. It's like buying a car. No, but like, I'm saying, like, not having money. You want to gather around in any relationship she gets in, I'm going to judge her. I'm going to judge her. I would have put Elham. Okay, here we go. Our last two problems. On this one, I got two tricky equations. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this crazy thing. I know it's absolutely going to blow your mind. I can subtract the two sign over to the other side. Oh my God. Well, you're going to find a lot of people in that. You go to a private college most of the time it's a parent. And I've got three sine squared minus two sine is equal to zero. Anybody want to guess what I do in that situation? No solution. Ooh, I like the idea. Totally wrong, but yeah. that's one to think about. <laughs> the totally is right, no solution. What? Right Factor! <laughs> Give it up for Keaton. Yeah! yeah. 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 I'm going to factor a sine of x out. And if I take a sine of x out of 3 sine squared, what would be left? I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I have a question. Two I'll be left with 3 sine of x <laughs> minus 2. And if I take sine of x out of 2 sine of x, I'm left with just dos, which is Spanish for 2. <laughs> Get rid of Callie's chart here. We can reference that some other time. All right. You need to bring this up at our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> this is the deal breaker. <laughs> so we are now going to set up two equations. Our first one is nice and easy. We've got sine of x equal to 0. Okay. And I want you to think on that unit circle. When is the y value equal to 0? Why did I choose the y value? Because it's sine. When is the y value equal to 0? The y value here is 1, and down there it's negative 1. The y value here is 0, and over there is 0, right? So we have 0, 180, and 360. Okay. <laughs> and our next one, we set up 3 sine of x minus 2 is equal to 0. We add that 2 and we get 3 sine of x is equal to 2. Divide by tres, which is Spanish for 3. And we get 2 thirds. Is that sine value positive or negative? It's positive, right? In which quadrants is sine positive? One and two. two. Remember, Yay. all <laughs> students take calculus. So you can see uh, they're all positive in the first and signs positive in the second. And I will give you those on the test. I will show you uh, very plainly where it's positive and where it's negative. So now what do I do? Do you remember what I do here? <laughs> I go to my calculator and I inverse that two-thirds. Sign inverse two divided by three. And I get 41.81. And so you can see that our first angle is going to be 41.81 past 0, which is just 41.81. And then our last one is going to be 180 minus 41.81. And I get... 
our last trig example of the quarter. Is this bringing tears to your eyes? Yeah, I'm very emotional. Let's Hannah, this. what emotions are you feeling right now? Sorrow? Depression? I'm tired. Tired. All right. Tough weekend? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Anybody guess what we can do for number six? Factor a cosine squared. So Hannah said party. So Hannah party. That doesn't mean it's a bad party. Yeah, it might have been a birthday party. I didn't remember it was a bad party. What happened to the zooming parts of it all? Hannah's bringing the balloons. All right. So we factor out a cosine squared. When you factor out the cosine squared, what are you left with? What? Yeah, One minus, minus the yeah, tangent of x. So there's no squared on the tangent. It's just one minus tangent. Okay. We have two. Hi. How, how is that cosine squared? Wait a second. Come on, Hannah. No, okay, hold on. You take it. Yep, yeah, okay. You good? Yep. All right, so I set up two equations. The first one is cosine squared of x is equal to 0. And the second one is 1 minus the tangent of x is equal to 0. I square root both sides. I get cosine of x is equal to 0. Is cosine the x value or the y value? X, when in the unit circle is the X value equal to zero? When in the unit circle is the X value equal to zero? Right there. Up and down, so 90 and 270. And then one minus tangent equal to zero, I subtract the one. And I get negative tangent of X is equal to negative 1. I divide by negative 1. I get tangent of x is equal to positive. When is tangent positive? First and third. And if you inverse 1 on your calculator, you get 45 degrees. So we have the additional angles of 45 degrees and of 225 degrees. And that is your final example. I have made the answer key. And I only have to finish off this last, uh, last problem and I'll be done. So I'm almost done. I got couple more problems to do. I'm going to work on that. You guys work on your stuff. Good job.